Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Andrew Tropin and today we talk about uh, Emacs snippets and templates. We continue the topic of in buffer completion in Emacs, but from a slightly different angle. We will begin from a very simple mechanism called a brief. Uh, there is a brief mod which helps to do very simple thing. Uh, it allows to define abbreviation and this abbreviation will be expanded later by a hotkey or automatically. It works uh, this way. We define a word uh, which we want to abbreviate and uh, add uh, call comment at global abbrev and uh, use uh, su su something for abbreviation, for example, bk. And later, when we type bk and uh, press expand uh, hotkey, in my case, it's either space if uh, abrev mode enabled or control X uh, single quote, we get this uh, word expanded. Uh, if I turn off abrev mode, after I type bk space, nothing happens. If I enable if I type control X single quote, it get expanded. And if I enable back a brief mode, after pressing spa space or for example, comma, this word will be expanded. Very simple mechanism. Uh, you can define global abbreviations, which will work across uh, the whole Emacs instance, or you can uh, define mod specific abbreviations. Uh, in case you need those abbreviations only in uh, some mods and not in another. And to get the list of all abbreviations, you can call list abbreviations and see that here I have global abbreviations and abbreviations for C mod. Here is the number of uh, times this abbrev was used. One more uh, mechanism for using abrevs is uh, cape abrev, which allows to add a cap backend, completion point backend, which uh, will show abbreviations in uh, pop-up menu if you use Corfu, or uh, which will show abbreviations in the list of completions when you call completion at point function manually. Okay, uh, that's it about abrev and let's talk a little about uh, dynamic abbreviations. Actually, it's very similar thing, but uh, abbreviations in this case generated based on the prefix of the word. For example, I know that I already typed uh, completion and uh, I can use the brief expand uh, to automatically complete this word for me because I already uh, used it in this buffer. There are two different, uh, actually th th three different ways to uh, use dynamic abbreviations listed above. Uh, and first one uh, you already saw uh, called the brief expand when you type a prefix and uh, expand a few times. For example, I can type S and uh, I will repeat the brief expand a few times and you will see all the uh, words starting with S here. Uh, but there are there is another way using the brief completion function. I type S and call the brief completion and it shows the list of candidates in Corfu pop-up. But if I disable Corfu, it will show a list of candidates. Oops. Uh, a list of candidates here in mini buffer using vertic or any other way you configure your completion system. If you are not aware of uh, mini buffer completion, Corfu and other uh, things, you probably will be interested in my previous stream. Please watch it. It's quite informative. Okay. Uh, the brief can source um, 
words for expansion from the current buffer, from all the buffer, from buffers for the project and probably mm, in many other ways. I recommend you to read the documentation and uh, see uh, all the options available for you and apply the, 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 the one you want uh, to use. And as with Abref, you can use uh, Cape package, which provide Cape Abref Cuff backend. Uh, and you will be able to use uh, dynamic abbreviations inside uh, wi with your completion at point function. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, very useful. Uh, usually I don't use it. Uh, I mean uh, completion at point f uh, fun function for Dabref. But uh, I use often uh, Dabref expand and sometimes Dabref completion. Um, it helps a lot when you don't have um, LSP server or other way f um, to complete uh, something in your code, but you still want uh, some completion and don't want to retype the same thing again and, and again. Uh, dynamic abbreviations here is very perfect. Okay, uh, it was a quick overview of Dabrev for dynamic abbreviations. And uh, soon we will get to the main topic of today's stream. We will talk about snippets and templates. Uh, I hope, I hope the sound as well. Please let me know if you hear me, please. I also read uh, IRC chat, so you can type it both in YouTube and IRC. Okay, about snippets. Uh, there are many different programming environment and text editors and uh, most of them uh, have something called snippets or templates. Uh, usually it's a template of a text that you can reuse and some parts uh, can be changed dynamically. Uh, the two primary types uh, of template systems in Emacs, the one uses S expressions and another use plain text snippets. And uh, to demonstrate both of them, I will use yes snippets and temple uh, package. And uh, talking about yes snippets, let's, let's see the definition of some simple uh, yes snippet template. In uh, yes snippets, uh, plain text is used. And as you can see here, uh, we have a placeholder for the first place. Uh, and it contains some code that will be evaluated. And the result will be insert inserted uh, in place of this placeholder. And also this placeholder will be re reused here. So you can expand the snippet and uh, it will be automatically populated with the result of the code. And also you can adjust the value uh, of this part of the snippet. And uh, this change will be pr proposed, proposed uh, to this place. Okay, uh, this is a first type of templates, plain text templates, and there is another uh, type of templates called S expression. Uh, and let, let's find let's find so some example in RD Emacs. Here we, we have a list of 
a few templates and the sim simplest one is not the simplest one but the one is quite simple called title uh, the first thing means the uh, string which will be used for expanding the template and the rest is the value uh, which will be used during expa expansion uh, pl plain strings will be inserted as strings uh, p is a placeholder and for new line uh, user full name is a variable defined in emacs you can find it using describe variable and instead of this variable uh, the value of this variable will be inserted And there are a few more uh, things that can be used inside templates. The list is quite small. It's a tempo syntax from uh, originated from tempo package, uh, but we will be using it with temple package. It's a quite good package by Daniel Mendler, uh, which based on Tempo syntax, but implementation uh, is made from ground up, as far as I remember. And there, not 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 much uh, to describe in the syntax. It's quite straightforward. Uh, just let's see how it works. Let's open uh, a scratch buffer, and we'll enable org mode here. And here inside buffer, let's type type something. Uh, w w what we uh, will type, um, for example, we, we, we will use title, and uh, we'll use a brief expand expand a brief function, uh, and you will see that it will be expanded to the template mentioned here, uh, and. After I typed a little more uh, uh, in place of placeholder, uh, I can go out of the uh, snippet using a simple command. Uh, usually, there's a command. Uh, oops. Bound to uh, Alt and uh, curly bracket. Uh, usually it's forward paragraph or forward element in org. Uh, temple uh, rebinds it during uh, the snippet expansion. So you can jump uh, around the placeholders. Uh, it was a simple snippet and as you see it translates easily from this S express notation to this plain text notation. Let's uh, see another simple snippet. Uh, it will be quote, for example. Quote, we will use expand a brief, and you will see it's basically a quote. I, I will turn off org modern mode uh, to make it more clear uh, how it looks as a text. And here we, uh, we uh, type some quote. But uh, another interesting thing uh, that we can use a special command uh, called temple insert. Uh, I bound it to alt and plus. And here you can see all available snippets. Uh, I can do the same, use the quote to insert quote snippet and type quote here. But also I can get uh, I can do another trick. I can uh, select a region, uh, call temple insert, and use some snippet, and the text which was in region will be uh, used here where we have our placeholder. Uh, this is useful, for example, when you have some code, define some 
function a b and uh, want to wrap this code inside source uh, block in your org file you type src input scheme and oops, jumps out of template and this is one more feature of temple is post and pre uh, hooks which triggers after and before snippet expansion after I, I finished a uh, snippet expansion uh, I went to edit src mod and here I can align code add some doc string and get out of it and we'll get my code here you can see the definition of src snippet it expands to begin src waits for some input uh, by using placeholder also if there was a region selected it will be inserted here after new line and it also will be identified after that will be inserted a new well, another new line and uh, the source block will be closed and after you uh, typed all uh, placeholders in our case the two placeholders first one for the uh, source type in our case it will be scheme and uh, the second one is placeholder here uh, which in our case the region selected after that org edit src uh, will be called and it will bring me to the interface which allows to edit source code blocks in org mode in a separate buffer with all the available features for example uh, in case of scheme it will be a geyser REPL where I can evaluate the code like this I didn't mm, enable it but I can uh, open geyser REPL eval this function and after this uh, after it call it like this and you will see the result at the bottom of the screen uh, it equals to 3 and also you can see the completion here and also I can call other functions like documentation and so on so it's quite powerful for literate programming now let's talk about uh, more technical details where those snippets defined and uh, how they get loaded and also how to add more snippets in some cases you saw the part of rd configuration but this configuration just generates a file uh, inside emacs config directory and this file contains only uh, two sections it's basically lisp data file which contains a list of s expressions and uh, at the beginning we have a mod of or a few mods uh, where those snippets will be available for example if i uh, change to fundamental mod and uh, will type uh, will use uh, temple insert you will see that there is only one snippet available and if i change to org mod will see that there are much, much more snippets available there, there is also a possibility uh, to use when keyword to add more uh, fine grained uh, control over where those snippets appears in in which circumstances um, here you, you see I have one snippet for fundamental mode which will be available everywhere and also I have a few snippets for org mode also you can define a one more section for example for fundamental or org mode snippets uh, and define snippets here it will work perf perfectly fine and it can be useful when you generate this config from other sources and not maintain 
uh, yourself. Okay, uh, the structure of the configuration file is clear. Uh, you enumerate uh, mods in which those snippets should appear. Uh, you add some conditions using when, and you define snippets in tempo syntax. About uh, tempo syntax, you can use in uh, probably define tempo as required. Tempo defined template, and here you can use uh, y y you can read about tempo syntax, or you can use the documentation of tempo package. I don't have it in in info format in RD Max uh, right now, but uh, later I plan to update a few packages in Geeks repository to add documentation, which will be generated from uh, readme file but will be in info format, so you can read the, the, the documentation from your Emacs instance. Okay, uh, we have this file, but this is not the only source uh, where we can uh, take snippets from. Uh, another way is to define a variable and add this variable to the list temple uh, template sources for now sources it uh, takes only uh, the value of uh, temple past templates variable which uh, defines temple pass which defines the, the pass to the file you see on the left of my screen which contains all the snippets. But also it can be a function which returns a list of snippets as, uh, ex as expressions. Uh, or it, it, it can, can be another pass to another file. And uh, Temple will uh, use those sources uh, to provide a list of templates quite flexible, especially when you define a buffer local variable and uh, add snippets on demand. Uh, it's very flexible mechanism and you can do almost whatever you want to make snippets loaded on demand. Okay, we talked about template snippets, uh, where we can source those templates from, uh, but also we need to talk about how we ins insert uh, those snippets a little more, uh, because uh, there are a few tricks that can be interesting for you. We already know that we can use temple insert, which will provide uh, a list of available snipp snippets in current uh, major mode. But also we can use a brief. For example, I can type uh, is SRC and uh, control X single quote and type something here. It works. Uh, but also I can enable a brief mode and SRC will be expanded automatically when I type comma, space, or other um, non-alphabetical character. And one more thing that we can use for expanding uh, snippets is using completion point function. And in this case, it uh, can make sense, especially if you define a temple trigger prefix. You can see for me it's a uh, angle bracket. And here uh, you can uh, see a pop-up from Corfu which shows all the snippet available snippets available in current mode. And I can type just a few characters and type uh, tap or uh, return to get the snippet expanded. 
Actually, it will work uh, even without Corfu, but I will need uh, to manually trigger completion at point function. For example, I type uh, bracket and after that I type uh, control alt i for completion at point and you will see a list of snippets here and I can pick uh, the one I want. Uh -huh. It not get expanded. Oh, okay. For some reason, uh, this one don't get expanded. Very strange. With Corfu mod, it works quite good. Okay, uh, we'll need to revisit it. Very good. Uh, how we implement this? Uh, we use a hook, uh, for example, prog, prog mod hook, uh, text mod hook, conf mod hook, or uh, any other hooks you want. And inside this ho uh, hook, we add a function which uh, sets buffer local value for completion at point functions and adds temple complete to the beginning of the list. Let me see. The, uh, l l let me show you the code. Uh, here we set a buffer local value for completion at point functions and prepends completion at point functions with temple complete. Also, we set uh, a temple trigger uh, prefix. Uh, to some value. It is done to make this cup work only when we started uh, typing with this prefix. But when we type with something else, uh, well, let me show another buffer. For example, let's open or grom. And here I have another completion. Uh, and you can see that it provides a lot of uh, results to my other ROM nodes. Uh, and if we don't use uh, temple trigger prefix, uh, instead of those results, uh, we will see a list of snippets in many cases when we don't uh, really w w w want them to see. There's another way uh, to use um, SuperCup. It's a situation when you take already existing cup and to the list of, re uh, of the results you add a list of results from another cup and you create this super cup which contains uh, the values from bo 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 both completion functions. Uh, this is an option but it doesn't work in every situation and I prefer explicitly say that now I want to see the list of templates by using trigger prefix. Hello, Grigori. I don't see your message. Mm, very strange. Type it one more time, please. Mm. Oh. It was a smiley, it just didn't load. Nice to see you here. Okay. Mm. We went really in, in, in depth about all the aspects of expansion snippets. The reason uh, I decided to talk about it today is uh, actually because uh, I tried yes snippets for some use cases and found this package a little bit too complicated uh, and outdated. And uh, I, wa I, I wanted to find a solution which suits RD Emacs uh, as many other simple packages uh, suits it. Uh, I mean that the whole um, 
idea of simple uh, packages that integrates with each other uh, and don't conflict with each other, which are uh, easy to, co to contribute and so on. And this is uh, why mm, I brought a temple package to RD. It's very simple, uh, elegant implementation uh, as expressions. It's m much easier to implement snippets engine using as expressions rather than pl pl plain text snippets. At least uh, I think so. I, I didn't uh, try it, but I almost sure uh, it is uh, it is true statement. Uh, Temple also uses already existing Tempo syntax, and there are a lot of uh, already existing Tempo templates that can be reused with Temple too. It integrates nicely with the rest of Emacs. As you can see, you can use it in abbrev mode. Uh, it just will be added to the list of abbreviations, and these abbreviations can be expanded either manually or automatically if abbrev mode is enabled. And also you can use these uh, completion point functions, which also very nice. And I quite like it. And it's also easy to contribute because the package is simple. You can read uh, the source code in a matter of minutes and you can add anything uh, necessary and propose it to the author of the package. And after discussion, it will be merged. I have a pretty nice experience interacted with Daniel. Uh, sometimes I, 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 I report uh, things, sometimes I suggest uh, something or in rare cases uh, write some small snippets and send them. And in all the cases uh, my experience was fla flavors. Uh, very nice. Uh, the downsides of temple package it's not very widespread so there's not, not, not so much templates right now uh, not much edge, edge cases uh, was faced by the users uh, and maybe some improvements will be required for the package and there are uh, not much tools for converting snippets already existing snippets to the temple syntax but it also uh, i think a matter of time uh, it will get it popular pop popularity, it will get more templates and more tools around it. Any questions so far? One thing that uh, we also need to discuss is where to apply those snippets. Uh, abbreviations and uh, dynamic abbreviations use case is clear. You want uh, to type less uh, letters but get the whole words. But with snippets it a little bit trickier. In most cases, uh, you want the completion uh, be provided by LSP server or maybe your REPL or some other source of information for your source code. Uh, for dynamic abbreviations, uh, the source will be already uh, existing text that you typed. And um, in most cases, it's enough to have uh, your language server uh, REPL and uh, dynamic abbreviations to have uh, your completion needs covered. But in some, uh, I would say, relatively rare cases, you will want to use uh, text templates. For example, for writing uh, many similar uh, emails w where you need a boilerplate uh, when you type uh, some related information to the person or uh, recipient and you, you need to repeat this operation few time. Uh, for example, when you write a commit message and this commit message has a special format 
and you know this format and parts of it uh, can be uh, populated automatically but some parts should be edited manually in these cases uh, text templates quite quite useful uh, I don't like uh, templates in programming because in many cases if you use uh, templates or snippets in your programming language that uh, means that your language is too verbose and uh, it requires text generation capabilities from your snippet engine uh, but probably it's still uh, a valid option in some cases hello can it for me it's almost evening but good morning for you okay we talked we covered three main topics for today let's proceed to the conclusion we discussed a lot on, on the previous stream about uh, mini buffer and in buffer completion today we continued uh, talking about in buffer completion and found three uh, more very useful mechanisms that I advise you to adapt and use because they can uh, really improve your productivity there are reasons to use other packages than temple L, for example your snippets especially if you have a big collection of uh, snippets already but in my case uh, I don't have such collection and legacy and requirements so I prefer a more simple and elegant solution uh, which is uh, well implemented integrates well with the rest of my ecosystem and uh, which is easier to contribute uh, because simple packages uh, not only simple for reading but also simple uh, for extent and as usual make love and not war see you in a bit